Send it to me. Oh, Skype's finally working. I can get in a call. Huzzah. Right, let's do this. A wild Harkin, I see him. I see him on the horizon. I wish I knew Solus. Hello everyone who's in chat. I'm here. I've just returned from my sojourn. It's been the longest day. Oh, the boys are all in. Hello, Richard. Hello, Rachel. Hello, Delinia. Hashtag dick jokes. I need to check my Twitter because I tweeted at you guys and didn't get to reply because I started moving everything. I, I fear what may have gone on on Twitter or in my absence. <laughs> Spontaneous genital combustion. Uncomfortable NPC romance from Swordknot. Mangled by a manticore. What's wrong with Aha, I have my notes. Oh, boys. How's everyone's days been? Very, very long day, Delinia, but, but, but good. 
Ah, uh, Rich, you need to get Twitter and follow us. Then you're missing out. Oh, I'm glad. I'm glad you're all you're all well and performing banter in our absence, which I'm very happy with. One minute remains. Yeah, I'm really ha glad to hear that, Linear. That sounded like a lot of fun. D&D &D is a brilliant stress relief, Richard. This will hopefully relax my stressful day. Let's go, boys. This is when nothing works, I feel, because I haven't had time to set it up. <laughs> Chad doesn't mind. Oh, yes, nothing, nothing is quite working. Hello, everyone. Uh, let me just set everything up. Uh, Yes, they, they won't be able to see you very well, but um, they can hear you. Uh, they can hear you now that I turned on your volume. There we go. Excellent. Huzzah. Hello, stream viewer people. Um, we sorry for the lateness of the beginning today. We uh, it's simply down to Will having to do things in real life. I mean, unfortunately, shun shun the non-believer. <laughs> but we are here now, and we are going to get a decent, hopefully get through a decent amount of roleplay uh, this evening for your amusement and ours. Uh, we have our newest member of the team, who doesn't actually have a window at the moment, which is always interesting. He will. Uh, so there's only four, but he will have one. Uh, we have Cord, who is joining us for the Monday stream, at Broken Kingdom, from now on. We, of course, also have Josh and Beth. Uh, would you like to introduce your characters, guys? Cord, we'll have you first. Okay. Oh. Same uh, race class, nothing too much. Sure, uh, I'm playing Elvis Osborne, the gnome necromancer. Uh, yeah, he's got some weird past that he wants to fix and stuff like that. We'll see what happens. Mm -hmm. I don't want to give too much away. Um, I'm playing Kaylin, the elf sorceress. Indeed. And Josh. I am playing Kai, the half-elf warlock. <laughs> I have ascended, Harkin. I am now. I am now Will. No! You can't make me go back. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, and I am playing Yanni, the human rogue. Cool. That's good to know. With a very Yanni's creepy... new, right? Yanni is new because Roland won v one the Dragon King oh. and got absolutely wrecked. And then didn't you one v one a god? Or did you just spit me down? Oh yeah, I won v one a god, so that's <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> yeah. then I just I just tried to windmill a god and it just didn't work. I, I was that, like, I was like, what what would a true Englishman do? He would windmill a god. True English. That's what I do on a daily basis. Sons of England. Follow me to Orcus and no, Ogrunt. <laughs> Orcus is the um the ghoul god. He's the, he's the yeah, god of yeah. death. So catch I'm up. Confused with orcs. Shall we right? Shall I remind everyone what happened last session so you can continue, Fanny? Please. Okay, so last session we were in the sky, in the t city of Brasso, not Bravos, because we're not in Game of Thrones, despite Josh and Beth's <laughs> best efforts. <laughs> um, Slash of Song of Ice and Fire for Sorry, all. Sorry, guys. Definitely better people. Um. 
So there was a lot of political shenanigans. Kaylin, despite her lack of kind of uh, speech skills, managed to somehow get a uh, an edict passed in the parliament. Ha- while it was being passed, we kind of had a week to kill. Um, Roland decided to try and steal some astral diamonds. Um, in the process, got caught, managed to blag his way out of it, but then, rather than taking the whipping, he was far too proud uh, to take the whipping for looking at a female dragonkin, and therefore started shiving her. He did quite well for himself, but then got shivved up. Uh, then tried to 1v1 a god and failed. Uh, Kai ate his soul. Um, yeah, and then Kay- then Kai also lasered, well not lasered, Eldritch blasted, which is essentially a f- fantasy laser, in, uh, Kaylin in the back because she was far too rude. And they're headed to the West Marshes. The Western to- Marshes. Western Marshes. Not the West that Marshes. Suddenly in the West. Which have um, always yeah, been are- in the West. Into the west, yes. um, we go. What we what we can see on the horizon is uh, into the western marshes, uh, and they are headed that way to continue their efforts to find the source stone. Uh, and remind uh, everyone what the source stone is. The source stone. Why? Well, of course, I'll remind them what the source stone is okay. when I remember. Um, <laughs> it's lying. Um, Okay, well, I think the source stone is, as I recall, Roland wasn't particularly concerned with this, so that's why I wasn't particularly concerned. Um, I believe it is the thing that allows us to close up all the port, all like the tears that are allowing these creatures to come through from Nilfheim. Uh, no, it allows you. It will, <laughs> no. in theory, it will, if it'll allow me to banish Moldark as well with my old character. P- potentially, it, it would have done. Um, so the source stone, as you were, as it was explained to you. Uh, which you just for those who pay attention to story um, (laughs) well it's not all about you James Um, and that story is over (laughs) that story is well and truly (laughs) over (laughs) Um, (laughs) yes as we explained to you the source stone is an item which if in the right hands of a powerful magic user such as the old one or uh, the hands of the uh, matron Modestus Polinius of the Dragon King of Brasso, in their hands, uh, would allow you to travel to Nilfheim, uh, at which point oh, yeah. you would be, yeah, yeah, from at which point you would be able to do something of which you wouldn't know what yet to do. No one knows what you do once you get there. So essentially, in a, roundabout, in a roundabout way, I was correct. In a, in the way that it it wasn't yeah. that yeah, <laughs> yeah. In an incorrect. <laughs> Ooh. Hey, forever player! Welcome. Can only hear Will clearly. Right, I'll turn everyone up. Turn up or turn down for uh, what? I'll turn turn you fools I'm... up. Turn myself. I accidentally just clipped a bit of table off. I should stop playing with those. Right. I think the setup shall we, is. Shall we crack on? No, I'm complete. I just need to get roll twenty up. But yeah. Um... Roll twenty is a black screen for me. Is it? Yeah, 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 yeah. It is. It is on yeah. my side as well. I haven't got roll twenty up yet. That's why. Fear not. You couldn't be bothered to make a photo, could you? How dare you? I just made make a photo of Roll20 and take a new one every time someone moves. <laughs> I just stop go animation. <laughs> um, I do reminders of the stuff that we're doing in real life. Like... Oh, yes. This, so the stuff we're doing in the near future. So not this Wednesday, but next Wednesday is the first episode of our um, Solace campaign. Oh With regards to that, Mythomatic and I, and maybe Will, we haven't spoken to him because obviously he's just got here, are going to be doing character creation with Chet and Colin uh, on Mathematics Channel straight after this. Um, it'll mostly be those two, but I, I will be there just to like suggest ways in which our characters are linked so the campaign uh, makes sense to start with. Obviously, Mathematic, is there anything else you'd like to add regarding that? Mathematic is core. That is I. Um, yes, no, uh, the same not really. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm excited to get this third st- uh, style of game. Uh, we've got this uh, overall arc game, this Broken Dreams game. We've got the episodic one-shots, which is the Isle of Anisterion, Anisterion. And then we also have Solace, which is going to be that space sandbox game. So we've got three styles of GMs and uh, three styles of game and story. So it's going to be a lot of fun and good uh, versatility for you guys to watch. Um, so yeah, 
I think it's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have some cool characters. We already have two cool characters, which are brothers. The brothers Galleon. They're both from Draconic. Yeah. The, uh, the British cultural influence planet of the Solace or the system of whatever. But anyway, that's a different game. You should totally hang out with us later after the stream, and we'll talk more about it then. Yep. And we've yes. got we've got Anasterion on Thursday. The cast there will be me as DM. We've got Josh, Beth, and Will as various characters. We've got Finbar, Ben, and Ella, two characters that we haven't met yet because that that ten minutes with Ella yes, didn't actually happen. Yes, I finally happen. got my ass in the um, gear and. Yes. And yep. And then in the near future, we'll also when we get our next nine followers will have our live charity 12 hour stream where i think we're going to be playing like a little bit of everything as far as i can tell pretty much i'm going to do a little bit of maybe dungeon world apocalypse world just throw some stuff out there things that we can just do on the fly so you can see us flail and do mad things shall we crack on yes i'm working on the roll 20 box uh oh. it's not necessary at this point but I'll all of all of the uh, all of the youtubes are now everything is on youtube i spent the last two days on and off um putting all the stuff that will will neglected to do because he's a terrible man with because no I, I have other things to you do in my life you don't have other things to i've do been i stayed up till half four see, creating me, the website last I night i stayed up till five playing civilization five so I mean, uh, who, who, who do we? He has a full-time job to do. <laughs> Silence. Vicious Silence. rumor, Beth. What, what this proves is that whilst I care deeply about the viewers and their ability to watch us back on YouTube, Will just doesn't. He doesn't care about I you. Don't. He doesn't love you. I don't. He's a bad man, and you should be mean to him. Yep. The end. However, he does control Moldark, so, so praise be Will careful. and praise Moldark <laughs> and fear. <laughs> Be very, Wait, very no, everyone, careful. Everyone look at the titles. Everyone pause the stream. Look at the titles of those thi of the uh, of the maps that just came up, so we can get delicious spoilers. Uh, I don't think there are any in there. Actually, I think they're the previous ones. Damn. Uh, still need more volume for everyone. Really? Oh, I can't deal with them. <laughs> I'll turn them up. Oh dear. Can don't you make hear me, Delinia? Do you know where you are? <laughs> Would you like me to call what someone for it? you? I'm gonna make it easy for you. Right, I'll lower my angle. What year just did cause... World War Two end? Oh god, the whole f everything's not working right. I'm just gonna turn myself down a little bit, and then therefore you can just turn up the entire volume. It's... I've had enough of messing around of things now. Um... Shall we? Yeah, <sighs> we we certainly we certainly shall. Right, so Kai and Kaylin left, walking out from the the city of Brasa, which is now on the ground. And uh, started uh, going off into the west, although they did run into some troubles, uh, had a bit of a uh, problem, and uh, Kai ended up attacking Kaylin and leading, leaving her... Completely unprovoked, oh, lad. Let's not have this argument. <laughs> Continuing. Uh, yes. Swiftly. That's just not... Um, and... As you uh, you started walking off, uh, and that's where we left off last time. And so, let us begin with Elvis. Yes. Uh, Elvis, can we have a brief description of you, my friend? Sure. Uh, Elvis is a uh, a small grimy gnome who lives in. He came from the Feywild, but he probably or the Feywild, uh, and he's probably lived in uh, where he's been now for a couple months. Uh, this just outside this uh, kind of like someone's bog shelter or bog like bog hut in the swamps, mm -hmm. uh, and he, he it's kind of questionable about how he is a, uh, gained the uh, bog hut. He probably killed the person. But uh, moving on, he is a uh, small little gnome. He's got a carries a his book of studies, his wizard book, and uh, he carries a small dagger. Uh, he's got his dog that follows him around, named Sleeves. Uh, and then um, and yeah, he's uh, I'm trying to think of like other things that I don't want to give away immediately, but. Uh, yeah, he worships the Raven Queen, and he loves death, and he wants to study how to get uh, his brethren back from this 
disappearing entity. Uh, yeah. So he is an agent of the Raven Queen right now. So yeah. Cool. Anyway, that's that. Cool. Um, and everything else I'll make up as we go. Cool. So it's, you it's have you have recently received a rather interesting uh, visitor, have you not? Um, who uh, has uh, left something of a mark upon your hand? Um, so uh, yes. recently, uh, Elvis, you, uh, the Raven Queen appeared before you and told you uh, that unless you do as she says and attempt to find a group of people who are working towards uh, saving uh, the magical eruptions coming forth from Nilfheim into Atonica, then your soul will be... Uh, at at risk um and she has perhaps stated uh, or suggested rather that if you do help her there's a possibility that you'll learn more about the art of death as she is indeed the queen of death so she has informed you that there's a group of these people uh coming into your marshes and you thought uh, perhaps best to uh, to get your you know make your make your place look make your place look nice get it all get it all ready um, yeah you know, clean a couple of the corpses out that sort of thing um, <laughs> not really clean them out yeah I mean, just just yeah. kind of hide them a little she bit he said clean them out and he <laughs> thought scrub them right so yeah. he did yeah he gave them all a sponge bath sewed up some wounds that he would probably used for inspection. But um, he thinks they look clean. It looks clean enough. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they're fine. They're fine, they're fine right? Um, I mean, he's dirty. Yeah. But they're clean. Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. So uh, we have that. You're kind of just uh, doing some some stuff in your in your little hovel. Uh, Janny. Janny. Um, Janny. Soft, even. Soft J. It's a soft J. I like I'm it. The, I'm, like all about the, I'm, all, I'm all about the soft J's when I name characters. I want <laughs> Yorick. Yori. You secretly want to be called Yames, don't you? Yames. <laughs> Yames. <laughs> it's all I've ever wanted. It's all me Yames. Um, cool. Uh, so yeah, I don't know why I that you will have also received a similar visitation uh, from Bizarre, the one. I already did have a Mark of the Raven Queen. Well, I've got one right. visible, which has been which is scarred into my hand, um, like very crudely, but scarred all the same. Um, yeah. So yeah, quick description. The marks, the marks appeared there, right? Yeah, mine was already okay. there, but because my character okay. is an absolute nutter. Um, spoiler. <laughs> so he's yeah, he's a twenty-three-year-old man. He's a human. Um, I'm just trying to get through all the psychological analysis I did for him. He is so he's quite tall. He's quite lanky. He's very thin. Um, he visibly shakes most of the time. Um, he his hair is kind of black in plaits. When he smiles, you can see that he's got two rows of teeth that are filed to points, um, and he's very, very pale, like sheet white all the time. <laughs> Josh is me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a true story. The cloak. Um, yeah, and he. Uh, so his connection to the Raven Queen. He. When, so he had a very poor relationship with his father. He was uh, beaten quite ruthlessly, uh, which caused prefrontal cortex damage. So it turned him into a bit of a bit of a crackhead. Um, he also had a terrible kind of terrible relationship with his mother. And so uh, when he was around the age of fifteen, at one point the Raven Queen spoke to him. He has warped what the Raven Queen said in his mind to the point at which he doesn't actually know anymore. But what he thinks the Raven Queen said was, I love you, Yanni. You're really special, and you can communicate to me with me through ways which will become apparent when you start role-playing in character. Um, and I will always protect you and love you forever. And then never heard from, him, never heard from her again. Um, until, I imagine very recently okay um so uh yes very recently you were told that there would be a person uh who you need to meet and she's she specifically told you that there is a person who you need to meet at a specific location in the western marshes 
yeah, this person lives in a hovel, in a hut, but she didn't say who this person was or anything about them, just that you need to meet them, and that in order to do her will, you need to uh, speak to this person um, and meet them for her. Uh, and of course, no doubt, as a, a devoted acolyte, uh, acolyte of her uh, cult, you decided More to than do so. an acolyte. Oh, yes. Uh, I, I am a son. <laughs> right. <laughs> okay. In his mind. Right. I see. I see. So, um, so yeah, it is uh, the morning, and you arrive at a very uh, fetid hovel in a in the western marshes. There's swampland all around. There's bogs everywhere. You've been travelling for probably you know, a few days through these marshes, uh, getting nowhere, and uh, this this is where you are. Looks like it was made of reeds. But with uh, instead of cement, it's just gunky, dried mud. Cool. Um, so Yanni, um, kind of seeing this, is it is it like am I like knee deep in marsh, or is it is there like a path? Uh, it is marsh around, and then probably the path dries out, and then it kind of steps up into the house. Cool. So I guess I'll I'll walk up the path very. That kindly. is what we're talking about. We're talking about my hovel. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no. I okay. walk up the walk up the path really. <laughs> he's he's got the one down the road. He's got the wrong <laughs> hovel. <laughs> yeah. I thought ah oh, seventeen. Just... It's it's eighteen. Damn. Yeah, it's seventeen. <laughs> um. Uh, yeah. I will. Yanni approaches the, um. The, door. Is it got like a doorknob, door handle? Uh, it's pretty much just a hole in the reeds. Okay. It's it's, it's yeah, very no. reminiscent of like a beaver hut. It's just is it, kind of... is it like gnome height the door? <laughs> beaver. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> like his dog goes in and out and you... I can go in and out, but you it's probably hard. Cool. So um you have to like crawl space. Yeah, uh Yanny Yanny in that case. Um you, you just kind of s- very very slowly and creepily sticks his <laughs> you just see like a smiling pointed teeth face come through the door and just kind of rotate 180 degrees each, like well rotate 90 degrees each way obviously he's not an owl um <laughs> just look around for you would i are you like plain to see are you, i guess are you like yeah yeah. yeah he's just probably uh, are, you, are, you in, are you in the middle of cleaning up corpses yeah just wearing a french maid sponge. outfit just dusty yeah. <laughs> oh wow <laughs> scrub scrub here and a scrub yeah. scrub there um there is uh, his back is tor- turned to you. He's got his cloak on, this like half torn uh, cape, and then he's just got suds dripping from his hands um, oh, and from his elbows. But you also see just uh, probably like the the legs of a, a human uh, coming out of like this hole or another ditch that he's buried, and he's just kind of scrubbing its shin. You, and he kind of looks hear, over at you. You hear from behind you. <laughs> Mother didn't say there was going to be lunch. And I crawl, I scurry yeah. in. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> uh, can, can, I, can I help you? Yeah. Um, who are you? I'm, I'm, mother sent me. I'm, I'm Yanni. <laughs> um, is, is Yanni a female? No, Yanni is a male. He's, he's a, got very, okay. femi- very feminine hair. He's just a 12-year-old. He's a six-foot-tall man. <laughs> okay. Um. I, hi. Um. Well, um, c- come in, I guess. I'm, 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 I'm already in. I've already crawled. It's like, scary. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm he, just, he knows. He's... I'm, I'm looking, looking very intently at the, bo- at the legs of the body that's behind you. And <laughs> he just says... Is it, is it a buffet system? If is what? I'm sorry. And he like extends a shaking hand and points at the, points at the legs. Oh, this, oh, this, this, this is Mr. Henderson. Say hi, Mr. Henderson. And he walks over and starts moving his jaw, like tugging on its beard. And he goes, <laughs> "Hello." Mother, not, ma, mother told me not to play with my food. And he he looks visibly distressed by this. Your food. I'm not eating this. Do you oh. eat this? No, please don't eat Mr. Henderson. He's here for study. 
and experiments. So far, yeah. I've realized that the that the uh, calf is actually uh, comes from behind the shin, and then there's an artery up right behind the knee. If you cut that, blood flows everywhere. You can see right here, and you see he's he's gone really. into deep detail and he's probably gone off on a tangent and he starts digging and then he shows you a pool of blood because that's from that artery I found. Yanni, Yanni like scurries <laughs> over to it and just gives it, a, gives it a sniff and then looks back to say, yes, do, you, do you have any spare? Arteries? Mm. That's the only response you get. Was that noise? <laughs> oh, <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, let I, I can try, and I, he kind of scurries, but doesn't keep his. He doesn't want to turn his back to you, and just kind of like shimmies over to a like a little chest, and there's just like organs and like uh, bits of skin, and he just starts like rummaging through. And you're uh, here's something, and he just kind of it kind of looks like a got the consistency of a spaghetti noodle, and he kind of just like wiggles it at you. There you go. I I snatch it and like feast upon it. Oh my god! Okay. Um, well, let's have dinner outside. Um, let's just and I try to like scoot you <laughs> out of. I, I'm like the hole. I'm like bustle that like crawl through the door. Yeah, because you have to like try to <laughs> scoot back. And he goes, okay. Um, let's go um, find something a little more appetizing for both of us and for my guests. What? More. He's a little disgusted now that he's as a person who won't stop. He just ate an artery. <clears throat> yeah, well, I, I guess I, I follow you because I don't know. I don't know where I am. So, so what are you uh, doing here? M mother, mother told me I had to. M mother told me I had to help him, didn't I? Didn't she? Or like, no, yeah. I had to meet. Like, look, mother said that if I was good, I would come and meet you. <laughs> Who's mother? And he points to his points to his hand. He's got the same mark of the Raven Queen that you've got, but his is like carved in with a clearly carved in with a knife some time ago. Oh, um, he goes. Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense now. Yeah, the Raven Queen. Yes. Oh man, bless the Raven Queen here. And he goes. Yeah, I'm an agent of her as well. And he opens up a lapel of his jacket, and there's just uh, uh the skin from his like the palm and stuff and like bits of his fingers was just shaved off and he just kind of pinned it to his lapel as if it was a badge um and you can tell in his left hand he's just bandaged it <laughs> he's just kind of like cool. ah yes me too <laughs> welcome brother of the raven queen right son so, son i okay well let's find Something for us to eat. Uh, yeah, Yanni, then... Yanni, Yanni offers you some of the. I assume is probably an artery. <laughs> yeah, just like, it's a... just like mm, no, thank you. Um, I'll eat something else. Mm, more, more for me. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun character to role play. <laughs> this is. <gonna> <laughs> <laughs> I had to come up with a voice, that's why I avoided talking for the first minute, and then I was like, right, <laughs> let's just go for something. Um, yeah, so we, I follow, I follow this gnome. Uh, I guess I'm gonna try my best to uh, forage some sort of. Uh, he doesn't really. I think uh, I feel like Elvis is more of a vegetarian, <laughs> so he's. Like, okay, He's like, the other okay. end of the scale. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. Do we, do we he wasn't until bodies. about five seconds ago. <laughs> do we see any? Yeah. Do we see any other people? Will. No, no one else is here. It's just you two at this point, uh, and Mr. Anderson, of course. Is Mr. And wait, is Mr. Anderson a resurrected corpse? Anderson. Uh, Anderson, sorry. Is he, no. is he a zombie? Or oh, I was thinking of Matrix. Is it? He's no. He is just a dead corpse that uh, I walk over and make. And make him talk. Yeah, he's he was still in there. He's not like an animated owner. Yeah. No. Cool. Um, yeah. Uh Yanni says, Does does anyone else live around here? <laughs> mm, not that I know of. Just just me. I've only been here for a couple of months or so, but <laughs> And Yanni looks <laughs> visibly distressed again. Uh I 
sorry. Uh, he kind of reaches behind him and grabs a cocktail and plucks it and just starts gnawing on it and then like spitting the that fibrous fur that comes off it. He's like, uh, no, not, not ready. Not yeah. ready. Not ripe enough. And then he tries to like take some mud from the river and like slurps it like soup. Yanni, uh, <laughs> Yanni says, how would I tell him that I'm here? <laughs> and he, he's like shaking so much. Um, <laughs> what do you eat? He holds the last bit of, he waves the last bit of noodle at you. <laughs> ah. Okay. Parts. You eat parts. Oh boy. Um, well, let's see what I can get you. And I'll try to make something for the both of us. And uh, I'm going to go try to make dinner with some of the resources <laughs> okay. that I have. So, so you go and you go and make some food. Uh, whatever scraps you can you can find for each other. Uh, while he, while he's cooking, I uh, I say I can I can see why mother likes you. You're a very good host. <laughs> Thank you. Right, and uh, so uh, eventually food is set down for the two of you. Cool. I I feast like a starved animal. Uh. Elvis makes a bowl for uh, Mr. Henderson. Just slides it over towards him. Cool. And of course, the big bowl to sleeves is massive. Okay. So you uh, you have eaten at this point. So we'll skip ahead yes. after the feasting. <laughs> Did you guys say anything? Or are you sitting in silence? Um, no, I guess, um, I guess we've... How, I'm sitting in silence because I'm a little. How did you? How did you come to work for Mother? She she um, she hasn't introduced you. Oh well, I um. Well, you see, I I lost my um. Here, I'll show you something. And uh, he pulls out, or he like moves a a part of the wall away, and there's just like a foot sticking out, a small foot, and he yanks it, and it's like this perfectly preserved, uh, gnome. And uh, and he's like, this is my brother, Milo. Uh, I lost him, and uh, I uh, want to make it up to him by bringing him back. So I've learned about the Raven Queen and devoted myself to her, and I'm ready to bring him back. I just have to know when. And uh, she told me that she would tell me the secrets of undeath if I helped her with this. So, so, and then she gave me this, and then I point to the lapel, which is clearly his hand, skin with the scar on it. So he's, he's not, he's not, not available. For no, you, oh. not for you. Mm, sorry, this oh. is mine. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Us gnomes, we actually taste um, fetid and more rotten than your kind. Uh, the humans of uh, the world. Uh, what, what's a gnome? I am. I'm a gnome. I thought you were a child. <laughs> no. I'm a gnome. Would a child have an amazing mustache like this? Uh, and he strokes the mustache that goes into mutton chops. It is very nice. Plus I'm balding. I have some spare. And I like start t like, t like I so Yanni pulls out a knife and he like probably cuts a tiny bit of his own hair off and like looking like if if a, if the creepiest man on earth could look like he was trying to do someone a good good deed, he like smiles at you what he thinks is kindly and extends this handful of hair at you. Ah, uh, thank you. And he goes over to his he waddles over to his little chest of organs and just kind of sprinkles it on top and then closes it. Like, You're welcome. Is that? Okay. Uh, I need to wait for Beth to come back. Um, but Kai... Uh, oh, keep going. <laughs> we can, we can, we can oh, I know. <laughs> I know you can. That's what worries me. <laughs> I, am, I just want to say, like, guys, I am absolutely loving this. This is just so ridiculous. 
<laughs> right, so they still do the most damage in the farm. So Kai, as you have uh, so far, have you have been travelling? Uh, we'll say for a few days uh, westwards. How has the the mood been between you and Kaylin? I genuinely think I might have to wait for Beth to return. That's because... true. <laughs> we can <laughs> certainly directly... continue. Is there dessert? Directly after, like, last roleplay, after I just blasted her into oblivion, <laughs> and then, like, we all... The thing is, chat, you don't understand, you walk away from it, and I was in the same room as her, and she just looked at me like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh. <laughs> oh, That's yeah, true. there's consequences <laughs> in real life. <laughs> Damn it. Who, who said roleplay isn't real? Off. <laughs> <laughs> You're still in it. Um, so, yeah, exactly. I so I I think it probably would have been quite awkward. Bad. Yes. Yeah, I... Not awkward. It probably more confrontational and mm. possibly violent. Yeah. Um. We can always eat her. So immediately after uh, you, Eldritch blasted. Uh, I'm gonna. I would walk away. Yeah. Like, you start. Not you run. Yeah, but yeah. I would just you start go. walking away. She's left there for a minute. Um. And uh, Moldark uh, makes his presence known, and he says, "That wasn't very nice, Kai." Kai. Kai sort of gives a little shiver that, like, most people wouldn't have noticed, but like Moldark being part of me would, and it's one of those, you know, you know when you've like, it's a sound, it's a sort of shiver you get after hearing like a can of coke opening or something like really satisfying. Yeah. It's yeah, it's definitely the the random violence has certainly scratched an old itch of guys that he's he's not particularly hiding well. Yeah. Um, but he just says, uh, well, uh. She had what she... She had a comment to her. I agree. I say, well, uh... <laughs> do you actually know... Do you actually know where we're going? Into the western marshes. I have never travelled before, though... I should be able to sense strong magic if we come near it. Well, that's, uh, that's how, that's handy. I don't suppose you know anyone around here, then? Mm, not as such. Kai sort of isn't sure what to make of that, so doesn't actually say anything. Okay. Um, and just, yes. And, uh, <laughs> hurry, hurry the fuck up, Beth. Because this is the very much the situation where I'm like... I'm back! Oh, well... <laughs> Yeah, Beth, why aren't? Yeah. Not Beth. Well, no, this is very much like I would be sitting there, like, waiting for some kind of response. Like, I'm very much on guard. Yeah, so... We've just uh, we've just basically... Uh, Kai Eldritch blasted you, went on the floor, he left you smoking yeah. a little bit, and then walked off, and then it's just had, like, a ten-second conversation with Moldark. So, um... What are you up to? How again? injured am I? Uh, however much. Do you think you're on two hit points? Yeah. Yeah, you're on two hit you're points. You're close to death. You'd you'd know that if you take another hit, you'd die. Yeah, you're not feeling good about yourself. Okay. Very very low um, self-esteem all of a sudden. Yeah. Uh, Kaylin's not actually going to be stupid enough to do anything back. Um, she's just going to try and shake it off as much as possible because you know, two hit points. It's not going to be very easy, but. Okay. And just kind of stumble to her feet and just kind of like, what the fuck? And growl slightly. That wasn't very nice of him, was it? She ignores him. Still, best to keep on going and you start moving. <laughs> I forgot. Kaylin that. hobbles along. Best dust yourself off from this one, and you kind of hit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> take a take two damage. <laughs> yes. <laughs> she just mutters under her breath. Fuck. <laughs> you you cast 
cloud of daggers on yourself and <laughs> no. just eviscerate yourself. <laughs> no. Um, so a question I put to uh, Josh a minute ago, but uh, needed both of you here. How has the mood been in the the camp between the two of you as you've been travelling for a couple of days? Funny it enough, would probably not be silence. <laughs> I mean, like unless unless Kaylin initiates conversation, I'm not going to talk to her. Okay, I see. I see silence. Understood. Um, so, you come into the marshes, um, you start going through the initial area, you've heard that there is a settlement known as Blackford, uh, yes, Blackford, um, a few days travel further into the marshes, but to actually get there, you have to go through some initial semi-marshy, semi, uh, you know, it's kind of like the transitional period of a geographic area where it starts being, starts being one area and starts to become another, but it's not all marsh, so it's just going to be a little bit boggy. Uh, and marshy as you're coming uh, through. West semi marshes. Yes, the, you've you've got a semi marsh on your hands. Uh, <laughs> How embarrassing! <laughs> My lady, I, I, I apologise. This never happens. Normally. <laughs> 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 never happens. I <laughs> usually have a full marsh under my belt. Anyway, <laughs> I was sailing at half marsh. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! Right. I'll say it. No. Anyway, well, I'm, I'm, I'm declaring martial law. <laughs> oh god! Oh, that was awful. That was terrible. <laughs> Everyone, <laughs> ban <Same> Josh. <laughs> right, so uh, I got it. You're, you're right. going through this this sort of area, uh, and it's icy cold times between the two of you. Occasional little chats with Moldark, perhaps nothing of real consequence. Um, oh, I chat openly to Moldark. I've got oh, yeah. Me, me oh, and yeah, yeah. are best friends. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, he's, <laughs> he, okay, so here's the thing. Moldark uh, is, is your best friend at the moment, Kai. Uh, he's got so many good things to say about you. Um, he's giving you little pep talks, little uh, motivational <laughs> spit. And, and when you cast uh, <laughs> invocations of death, well, perhaps sometimes if you just twist your ring to the left a little and channel the energy, it's devastating consequences. <laughs> really, keep up the good work, honestly. You're doing so well. And uh, stuff like that. He's... Uh, He's loving uh, the the new Kai as he sees it, and um, Kai Kai is uh, is essentially he's he's responding. He's trying to keep it quite clipped, but it's it's very much obvious that something has stirred within him. Wow, his marsh has stirred. <laughs> Worst one starts to <laughs> Right, so. Um, yeah, and as you're coming, say the third day through these, it's getting marshier and marshier. You're you're off the semi marsh. You're back onto, thank God, a full oh. marsh. Uh, that was a that was a tricky situation, um, <laughs> but luckily, luckily you're out. Encounter. Me and Kaylin have vowed never to speak of it. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in the semi marshes stays <laughs> in the semi marshes. <laughs> so uh, yeah, as you're as you're travelling. Um, you both hear uh, Moldark uh, say in your head, I sense one or two of my brethren nearby. Pretty much instantly I have summoned, like, some lightning into my hand. I am very much up for killing something if it comes near me. I'm expecting dragon flying bitches. Okay, Caitlin, how do you react? Um, she, she does something very similar to Kai, and crackles of lightnings come off, like form a small ball in her hand. Okay. Um, so unoriginal. <laughs> Get your own element. <laughs> <laughs> I'm literally like that's it's just like Kai's just being really bitchy. Like, oh, couldn't see that one coming. She doesn't even go here. Um. <laughs> <laughs> oh god! No, do not start this world with this won't stop all night, please. Dylan here says, "Careful, we don't want another Nazi episode." <laughs> that, that didn't happen. Never happened. Not an hour. That was not an hour of our lives. <laughs> What's your invocation made of? Your mum's chest hair. <laughs> I'll stop now. Right. So, um, Moldock says. Um, Ah, no, they are simply followers of the Raven Queen. Perhaps. The lightning intensifies. Yeah. <laughs> it just does nothing. 
<laughs> Perhaps on a similar mission. Kaylin, you start walking. Oh. Am I, I walking I... my own free will? No. <laughs> no. no. Clearly not. You, you can try. You can am... you can start walking I... at your own free will. I say openly and in in common, so she can hear. But obviously, addressing Moldark. Yeah, it's a sound tactic. Send in the disposable scout fodder first. Yeah. Um, Moldark. <laughs> Chuckles in in your head, uh, Kai, and in your head, Kaylin says, "Oh, so mean." Let's keep going. Um, <laughs> as your as your pace intensifies, um, these two these two are real bullies when they're they're put together. They are. Uh, yeah, I figured. They're the wombo combo. I mean, <laughs> they've they've got the uh, yeah. Kaylin just. Kaylin turns around to Mulder. It's like, you tell me where I'm going, and I will just fucking walk. You don't have to make me walk. This way, like onwards. You can't turn around to Mulder because he has control of your body. <laughs> I turn around in my brain. <laughs> I twist yeah. my entire head. My, my, my conscience turns to Mulder. Mulder, no. Do it myself. <laughs> Mulder, stop. 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 Always gets tricky when a full marsh leads to lightning bolts. <laughs> true, true enough. <laughs> So, full marsh. Does that mean sparks are flying? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Can I just well, openly apologise to my parents now because I've got I've got a feeling that this is going to involve much swearing and I am never going to hear the end of it. So, sorry, <laughs> mum. Sorry, dad. Ooh, sorry, mum. <laughs> sorry, mummy. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Continuing. Sorry. Um, uh, yeah. So you keep on walking, and you uh, you slip a few times into the marsh. You get a little bit boggy uh, on your on your legs, on your feet. I don't. I have someone no. showing me where all the boggy spots are. Essentially, yeah. Um, and don't step there. Don't step there. Okay, step there. <laughs> yeah, no, That's no one step Moldock. forwards. <laughs> <laughs> Two she step backs, and oh, now goodness. slides one to the left. Forward. Slides to the, the right. right. Take it's it back and now, yo. <laughs> oh god, this is getting really creepy. Cha cha, real smooth. I can't, I can't Everybody, I clap well. your hands. Kaylin <laughs> finds herself doing the cha cha slide. <laughs> She's not quite sure what the cha cha slide is, but she knows that's what she's doing. <laughs> you come to a hovel. You come to a hovel uh, in the bog. Uh, imagine, Kaylin, you probably reach it first. Uh, yeah, I wonder yeah. why. And then you, and you, you stop, you stop moving, and you just look at it. Uh, and then Kai, you catch up probably a few moments later. Leisurely pace. Yeah. Uh, and there's a. Leisure? We say leisure. Because we're correct. Because we're correct and invented the language. <laughs> <laughs> what? Our language. Um, yeah, so, uh, there's, a, there's a hovel before you, uh, and you probably hear some noises, uh, of talking yeah. inside, like a high-pitched titter from inside. <laughs> Please put your, your titters away, it's a, turn into a family <laughs> hovel, jeez. Oh, you sorry. hear coming from inside. <laughs> I look at Kaylin and sort of say, why don't you stick your head in and see if they're friendly? Or I could just knock on the door. There's no door. Slightly less likely to get my head chopped off that way. And she knocks on the door. There is literally no door. <laughs> okay, she knocks on whatever constitutes a door. A wall. I guess a wall. It's called okay, a wall. Okay, she knocks wall. on the friggin' wall then. Is that a fist coming through my door? <laughs> what is that? And then... She does have a door. <laughs> <laughs> the hole in the wall that people crawl through? Uh... You kind of see, like, pop into view is uh, a little gnome, balding gnome with a bushy mustache that goes into mutton chops. Something you I wish I could grow. You see, um, you see a pale, yeah, he's just like, pale white face appear next next to him. <laughs> Kaylin mutters under a breath, oh god, another gnome. Um, Excuse me? That's racist! <laughs> I was, I was going to say I'm pretty you were, but now I'm not. 
So there. She is very pretty. Sorry. No. Nope. Last night nope, you lost your turn. I'm sorry. Nope. Nope, what? You're doing what you started She's not off. quite Yanni's sure why she's yeah. apologizing. Um, Elvis, you feel Yanni tap you on the shoulder and you see him point at there's a there's a man. There's a man standing Please to the back. Touch me. Oh. I brush you off where I touched you. <laughs> you feel bored. Not you feel sure bored why there. she's apologizing. Um but she she is. I I wasn't expecting more company. Um I mean I was, but I didn't know you guys would be here today. But um Hi, welcome. This is my mud hut, for lack of a better term. But it's full. My name is. My name is Elvis. Kaylee just kind of uh, stares at the big, the pale guy with the teeth, and is like, "What's going on?" Uh, I have food. I, I don't. Yeah, we have two choices: um, meat or anything but meat. Um, unless you're this guy, um, he chooses the butt meat. <laughs> and he chuckles at his joke that may not be funny. And he just looks confused. Um, yeah, because you're eating the butt of the meat. Oh, boy. Okay, well, anyway, welcome. Come on in. I'm if you could Kaylin. Yeah. She kind of looks at the hole in the wall and wonders how she's going to fit in. <laughs> you have to crawl. Oh, yeah, maybe we should bring bring the dinner out to you guys. Okay, um, one second. Uh, do you see a dog gets pushed out? Shoot. And the mastiff just comes out of the, uh, the hovel, and then he, cut, he tries to, like, move some bog or some mud and, like, clear it into a circle, and then he kind of tries to make seats out of some of the, okay, well, we could eat here. And then I try to give everybody a bowl of slop and or the option of human meat. I, I go for the... Taylor, Taylor goes for the slop. Yeah, has, Kai, has Kai approached? Is he there? Kai, Kai has not approached. Kai is watching from a distance, waiting for someone to kill Kaylin. <laughs> I, I extend... Yanni extends a hand. Like it's visibly shaking profusely. To you, how to, this is to you, um, Kaylin. Yeah. She wonders whether she is going to bite her hand off, but gives it to him anyway, hoping that it's actually going to be a handshake. Yeah, he shakes your hand. Your, <laughs> your hand is like cold to the touch, and uh, his hand is cold to the touch, and like very clammy and like uncomfortable. <laughs> it's not nice to touch. She tries to put an expression of gratitude on her face, but I think it comes across more as disgust as she quickly wipes it. Um, yeah. yeah. And he sits down and tucks into his slop. And he calls over to the, the other person and says, Are you going to join us? <laughs> and he, Are you? His, did you his, come his, alone? I've, like, I've just um, said that to Kai, who's like in the background. I think oh. I, and I did point him out to you. Yeah, yeah. Um, I am. Kaylin. I am not actually invisible. I am like standing in like a clearing, I suppose. So oh, okay. I'm just I thought you were just like hiding. No, 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 no. Kaylin looks, looks at Kai, kind of like, I know you don't like me, but please come here. <laughs> Moldock says to you, Kai, look at their wrists. And if you look, Kai. you you could probably make out <laughs> the Kai little. Zooms in. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, from a distance you can see that the, the black mark is uh, working its way up there on their hands. Cool. I um, it's not, not black. I I step over and I'm, uh, to them and I say, uh, "Have you two, by any chance, got certain markings on your wrists?" Yanni eagerly shows you the scarring up his arm. I mutter in primordial. Uh, but out loud um, to Moldark to say, uh, is that an actual mark or is that just fan art? 
fan art is a Would thing. fan art even exist? Fan art. Uh, I guess like copy fanatic, copycat. Fanatic, no, fanatic, fanatic, it comes from fanaticism, which has always been a thing. So in a historical universe, I'm sure fan would exist for short. In sure, it mark, doesn't matter. The mark, the mark of a fanatic. Yeah. You show the, uh, you see Elvis holds out his hand, but it's bandaged. And then he goes, that? Ah, and he pulls out his lapel on his cloak, and it's got clearly the dead skin with the mark on it. Or the still living skin with like the mark physically. on it. And he's like, yeah, but oh, Yanni, one thing I should point out, Yanni, Yanni is wearing like, a, his clothing is like a, he's wearing like black trousers, but he's got a very thick leather, purple, like, overcoat, long trench coat thing. It'll become clear when you see his character icon. Which is kindly drawn by Nyx. Um, but yeah, he looks looks rather bizarre. He looks rather bizarre. Okay. Cool. Um, yeah, I've I've asked Moldark if uh, they're actual markings or if they're just fan art. Yeah, you asked Moldark that. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he says uh, they are real. I uh, I smile. I also sort of do it to see like. Does anyone make comment? Because does anyone at well, like, does anyone seem to recognise that I'm speaking primordial or like show any recognition um, of like the language? Yanni, Yanni would probably be listening to you while you say it. He's certainly looking at you very intently. Okay. I. Mm, what are you I saying? I tried. To... Ah, right. <clears throat> oh, nothing. I was uh, speaking to someone. Mother. He's got a demon in his head. Yeah, I, I give Kaylin a very pointed look. I give her a very pointed tooth. Oh, come on, he's in, <laughs> he's in my head as well. Can I, uh, we all have uh, controlling demons. my body. And can I, can I have one? No, ac actual demon. Oh, I was being metaphorical. You wait, they wait, you have demons in you? Yeah. And you brought I them to my house? Metaphorical. Oh. I, I we haven't have actually choice. come into your house yet. I was to come here by the demon that owns 55% of my soul. Well, your, I, uh, my, my, my I, full I, house I is that casually, way. I, I casually put it out and I say, um, <clears throat> she's actually uh, a reanimated corpse. Co corpse? <laughs> And he fascinating. He looks at really? he looks at Kalen with a, a with a strange look. By who? <laughs> and at this point, uh, Elvis scuttles over and just gets really, really close to Kalen and just starts poking at her face. Yeah, I imagine I'm sitting next to, to her eyes. I imagine I'm sitting next to her, wow. and I'm just kind of look, what, looking unblinkingly at her. She she turns to. Do this to you. I I haven't been told. Um, James's character's name yet, have I? No. In character. Um, I, in that case, I look at Yanis and just like, I still have a pulse. Yanni. Yanni. Um, and you wouldn't, so I still wouldn't, have a pulse. You wouldn't. Have you mentioned that I eat human flesh? Has anyone? No, but you're really creepy and went, mm, I've made course. jokes at it. And jokes oh, at it. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, cool, cool. <laughs> uh, Yanni, so. Yanni, Yanni just, just thinks to himself, for now. But he doesn't say anything out loud. <laughs> and she can see the gnome slowly getting closer, and she's, she she stands up. <laughs> then he can't reach her face. He starts poking at your hip. That's fine. You just need to see where the skin is. I I actually I I if he doesn't I, resist, the skin I, is everywhere. If he doesn't resist, actually, I pick up Elvis and say, <laughs> do I does anything? I just pick him up. Oh, oh boy. Hold uh, them up uh, to the right put height. Down. No, just please, to like, oh, oh. Uh, like face height. Oh, thank you. Uh, this is fascinating. The hair isn't brittle at all. Jeez. Well, their eyes aren't glassed over. This is. Hmm. Who did this to you? She takes Tell me their name. Back. It's like the demon that's in his head, and she points at Kai. I plonk, I plonk Elvis down. Surprising, I'm, I'm surprisingly gentle. Current. I'm currently having a conversation with Moldark. I'm not really paying too much attention. Good. Okay. What are you talking about? Um, I'm basically saying, well, uh, 
what do we have here? A cannibal and... Well, I'm not sure what use a gnome is, but at least the uh, mm. the creepy one looks like he could be of some use. Yes, they're certainly an odd bunch. Seems like they might be rather malleable to our wishes. So, did did you certainly more than the elf? He uh, says, "Well, I already control her." Did you see the way they perked up when they said, when she said, "Demon"? Kai, Kai suddenly pauses and just completely without any sort of, um, actually no, no, never mind. No, I was gonna no, scrap that. That doesn't make sense. Um, yes, Kai. Um, Kai sort of nods to himself and says, uh, "Well, uh, I'm sure we could uh, dazzle them with some party tricks." Hmm. Perhaps we could. Um. Oh, do, 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 do. I'm trying to think like. I'm just looking at my sp oh hello um um will quickly uh, from a genius yeah. perspective could i essentially use uh, the spell uh, minor illusion uh, you create a sound or an image or of an object within range that lasts for the duration uh, which is 1 minute and the illusion also ends if it's dismissed um if you create a sound, its volume can range from a whisper to a scream. It can be your voice, someone else's voice, or a lion's roar, or beating of drums. Basically, can I use that to project Moldark's voice? Yeah. Yeah. It cool. Would, yeah, you, can, you can do his real voice by the letter of the rule, but you could do, like, Moldark's... You could make Moldark the sound of Moldark saying something. Yeah. I mean, it's not him speaking, it's you doing his voice, basically. Yeah. Okay. Right. Essentially. So it's you doing a perfect. Random. It's you doing a perfect impression of Mordor. Cool. In which case, I'll, I will just post that for anyone uh, who wants to have a quick look over it. Um, but yes, I say. Um, I say to um, the gnome. Um, <laughs> oh God! Now I've got to do Mordor voice. Um. Will, can I just tell you what to say? Yeah, if you want me to. <laughs> in message, right? Ba basically, I, I, want, I want it to sound like Moldark essentially says, like, um, you wish to uh, possess a power such as this, and I sort of put gesture to Kaylin's reanimated corpse. Okay, cool. Uh, so... Yeah, when you say Yanni believes it, because my investigation's a six. So as you guys... <laughs> um, uh, chatting and interrogating Kaylin as she says, you know, it's inside his brain. Uh, you look to Kai, who suddenly stands up uh, very tall in front of you and uh, says in a rather odd voice, uh, which you haven't heard him speak in before, You wish to possess the power I do. And then Kaylin suddenly starts... Kaylin shudders. Yeah, Kaylin shudders and then starts jumping, running, sitting up and down very quickly. Um, all in a rather bizarre puppet fashion. Uh, while, while that's happening, I'm basically holding my hand out, stretched in front of me, palm down, and I'm sort of jerking my fingers around in time to her movements. Cool. Okay. So... It 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 looks like I'm just. Caitlin mutters, that. "Oh for fuck's sake!" <laughs> Yanni titters. <laughs> Elvis goes, and he huh. che chews his fingernails. That's weird. And got, oh. just like you do realize he's not actually doing this, right? You have absolutely well, no way to like know that, so. She can assume, bearing in mind, Moldark just was just, you know, speaking. Yes. Have we heard Kai speak yet at all? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. A, few, a few sentences. He spoke, he spoke to us. Oh, okay. He had an Irish accent. Yeah. Then I react, I go, whoa. I thought I didn't hear him speak, so I was like, mm. <laughs> okay. Mm. So, 
Yeah. Uh, in answer to in answer to <laughs> Kai's question, Yanni goes, "Yes, please." And he I would I would he love shakes it. with excitement. <laughs> so I kill me. Here, he, sorry. Show me. Speak again. Did you say tell me or show me? I uh, both. Tell me and then show me. What you want? I will. I will learn with my hands, and you can advise me that way. Just, just teach me. I, uh, I smile, uh, like inwardly, and uh, and sort of whisper to Moldark, and I say, uh, definitely more malleable. And uh, yeah, I say, well, well, of course, you must understand that there is a cost for everything, especially your soul. I, I shrug my shoulders and say, what good is a soul without power? You can control your own body for a start. Well, not if you are prophetic and lacking in the power department. So far, I've noticed that I've got, for guests, um, this weirdo pointing to a shaking dude. You, who possesses power of some sort. The demon in his brain you, possesses power. Who keeps interrupting people. And then, but we're all brought together with this. And then actually holds up his lapel. It's like, but he holds up his bandaged hand as well. And he goes, we should probably figure out what we're doing next rather than talking about Power and whether or not people are actually animated, I will find out if you are. But I moving am. on, M M mother told me to do awesome. what I was told. And he looks, looks, <laughs> looks at um you, Elvis. Really, I just uh, oh, wow. Um, he starts to. He was on a really good track of trying to get us all on track, but then he just starts to veer off and be like, okay, well, well, I we really have to start talking about. How you exist. Who brought you back? Moldark, this thing in his head? Yes. That you mentioned? Yes. Brought you back. Yes. And now you're alive. Have you yes. experienced any signs of rot? No. Yes, when you, uh, your feet when have... I first you can lie about it, but you have. Yeah, just so you know, your yes. feet are still slightly mildly decomposed. Uh, not in a terrible way, but they are not particularly nice. I forgot about that. Your yeah. shoe um, modeling career is over. over. Yep. So, ballet feet. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, um... So, have you? Yes. Uh... Where, yeah, where, where? Yeah, where, where, yeah he looks you, you you want me to show you? Yeah, show me where you have rot. Come on, what's going on? Is she, come on, is she always this difficult? Come on. <laughs> I, I look at the gnome and say, <laughs> I've heard she has rot in places you don't want to see. I do want to see. Really I need to study this. this. <laughs> this is purely for sci- Oh, guys, come on. I was doing this for science and for spell mastery. It's my for... feet, okay? It's my feet. And she takes a boot off and kind of shoves it in his face. Oh my god. The foot, that not the boot. God. That's that's sometimes called kicking. <laughs> no, that's... she doesn't hit his face, it's just kind of extremely close. Ah, well, that is ah, fascinating. Oh my gosh, look at that. And he starts prodding at, like, the absence of skin and, like, putting Ow! his finger through, like, a bone, and he's, like, and wiggling his, like, his stubby little thumb through it. Maybe. That is crazy. And just forgetting that you exist. Um, Ouch! And like, Yanni, Yanni shuffles over towards Kai. I smile welcomely. So, how do you know, Mother? <laughs> I uh, I look confused. Could, will, would it be safe to assume I could... No, actually, there is no way I There's could no figure that out. Yeah. <laughs> you have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I... Uh, I say, does mother have another name? He shakes his hand, like his, yeah. his, he extends a shaking hand to show the 
Scar of the Symbol of the Raven Queen is much more crude than your version. Uh, I'm sure I could sort of put two and two together from that. Like, that's just... You're mental. <laughs> I can kind <laughs> okay, of... Yeah. I can kind of assume by association, therefore, the Raven Queen knows you. Um, yeah, you have also yeah. uh, heard Mol Moldark referred, uh, refer to the Raven Queen as mother of quite, well, pretty much all the time. Yeah, I know, yeah. but that, that makes sense to me. Uh, yeah, yeah. He is like an I actual son that. of... Yeah, yeah. I have an actual son. And I, I, I say... <clears throat> I say... Ah, you must mean the Raven Queen... Or mother, as you call her. Well, it so happens that I may have one of your brothers. Bro brothers? I uh, I smile and, and, and put a sort of a reassuring hand on your very clammy shoulder. Not that your shoulder is... My like, shoulder like, clammy. I, I, I don't feel like... I feel like you're just clammy all over. <laughs> like, that's I am, just I am clammy, I'm... almost... Mostly, like, in most places. The trench coat and everything, I can just feel clamminess and I'm like, oh, <laughs> sweat. <laughs> just, oh, it's he's unpleasant. a pretty gross man. He's been walking through the marsh for four days, and he hasn't been the cleanest man at the best of times. Cool. I, I yeah, I, I, I put a reassuring hand on, on his shoulder. I'm sort of picking up on a few parental issues here, <laughs> so I'm just like, uh, well, uh, I'm also. Uh, Traveling with uh, a demon. He prefers to be called a primordial, but uh, his name is Moldark. I'm not sure if you've heard of him. I, I, I don't think that we've met. I smile and say, I'm sure you'll get well acquainted very soon. I'm sure he's absolutely dying to meet you. Mm. And Yanni yeah, looks nervous. I say, oh, don't, don't worry. He's one of your brothers, after all. You are a real, true son of the Raven Queen, are you not? Yes, 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 yes. He says very I, 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 He I smiles and nods. You, I give you the most warm, broad, bullshitting smile you've ever seen in hey, your life. Yeah, like Yanni <laughs> bites it so hard. Yeah. He's lapping that up. He's, <laughs> yeah, he looks really happy. I say, then we are brothers. And we brothers look brothers. after each other. Yes. And Yan Yanni looks Yanni looks perplexed, but at the same time, like it's like when you get given a really good Christmas present, and you're just like, "Oh my god, yay!" <laughs> um, but at the same time, like, what? What? What does yeah, this yeah, mean? That, that combination. Um, yeah, he's he, and then all of a sudden he just hugs you, and it's it's cold, it's creepy, and Generally, I'm just dislike it in every way possible. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I, I would sort of awkwardly just be like, "Yes, cool, thank you." Moving on. I don't, I don't get off. Yeah, that that's cool. I embrace you. I, I I'm like attached. Thank God you don't get off. I was gonna say. <laughs> 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 I, I look at Kaylin and uh, give her a dark smile. Isn't he handsome? Says Moldark in your head. Isn't he handsome? Yeah. Do I hear it? Which no. one? Oh, no. yeah, I was just saying. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Moldark leaves it undecided. Almost <laughs> as if we leave it, he leaves it for chat to decide. <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah. Carry on with your conversation. Yeah, that's. I imagine that's a convenient place for it. After that, it'd just be pointless, pointless banter. Mm. Well, I believe uh, you can walk on these feet, right? Yes. So, I mean, you were walking here, and it doesn't hurt. Not really. All right, good. And he drops the foot, and then he turns his back to everybody, and he's like, "Is everybody done with dinner?" Yes, thank you. Kai, yeah, Kai you're probably cool. says yes, but hasn't okay, eaten good. anything. Well, I presume, because I, like all of us, and have are an agent to the Raven Queen, and he holds up his lapel again with his we, skin. We, we have 
person. I, 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 give, I give a very knowing. I give a very knowing look to uh, the the small guy next to me. I'm not something like six foot. What the gnome or the man? Oh, oh, are you I'm six like, foot? I'm like six really foot tall, if not more. Oh well, you're you're much higher than me. He's then. very, very. He probably weighs about half of what you weigh. Now he's like he's very. He's like the most gaunt individual. He's not emasculated. He's just very is gaunt. That, <laughs> I don't is that know is about it that. For dinner, I believe. Uh, and he walks away, and he still continues his speech uh, as he goes into the uh, the hut, and he comes back out with a chest and like uh, some sort of harness. And he uh, is like, uh, yes, so um, I believe we are all on a mission for uh, our mother, right? And he gestures towards I, Yoni. I, I, nod at, I nod at Kai. Yep, yep. I, you I guys know what I'm talking about. And um, so, and he starts strapping uh, a harness on top of uh, sleeves. Uh, on top of sleeves. And then he's just like, and, um, and he fastens the chest on, on like the side of it. Uh, and then he's like, well, um, without further ado, I think with your feet that are decomposing, which I will study later, that could walk, Please we don't. shall make towards wherever we're supposed to go. I don't know where we're going. I smile we and go. say, we're uh, heading west. Keep, keep heading west? Or to where? Till I decide that we've reached our destination. Okay, then what? Is that how you guys have been traveling? I smile and say, um. <laughs> Kai smiles and says something that he thinks sounds really smooth, but probably doesn't. He says, We move in mysterious ways. And then he just walks off as if it's like a Ooh, I disappear. At that moment, Kai would have put on sunglasses, but they don't exist. <laughs> That sounds rather catchy. Hmm, I read a poem about that. Anyway, so I believe we shall follow the voices in your head. Crazy, right? As he talks to Yanni, and he's uh, <laughs> and he's like, "Well, I think we shall." I don't need this place anymore. I mean, I was only here to get you guys. Um, Mr. Henderson, I think has it. Um, and yes, I, my brother. Mr. Henderson. Be, Oh, yeah, you met. You haven't met Mr. Edison. Let me go grab it. Let me get it. And uh, he goes inside and he drags uh, a corpse just to the doorway um, by its hair. And then he's just like, Say hello. And then he just pulls its beard and just goes, Hello. How are you? Yanni oh. waves. Yanni waves to Mr. Henderson. And kind of cuts away I. slowly. Well, I can animate the two, the dead too, sister. Yeah, right. Okay, bye-bye. Sister? <laughs> what was that, Joshua? Right? Just drew yes. Oh, no, mm. never, never mind. Okay. Uh, and then he's just like, uh, yes, sister, brother, 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 Raven Queen, mom, hello. Anyway, guys, let's let's uh, find this together. <laughs> Hands in. And uh, he kind of just like Yanny, Yanny's, Yanny's, ushers everybody into a huddle. Yanny, Yanny's creepy hand goes on top of yours. Uh, and he just kind of waits for everybody else. Huh? Guys? Come on. Kai deliberately, um, put, like, chooses to put on the hand that isn't, uh, the one stamped with the Raven Queen mark. No, no, the other one. Yes, the other one. They won't mean anything if it's the other one. Kai, <laughs> Kai sighs and then, and then puts the Raven Queen mark on. Taylor's represents... just like says to the gnomes, like, that hand's just been in my foot. <laughs> Sorry, I would have used the other one, but... Um... There. Hey. She just kind of hovers her hand over the rest of them. Kai, Kai puts his hand on top of Kaylin's hand and forces it down. And then he's like, oh, wait, hold on. And then he, and then he unpins the... Uh, the no, 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 hatch. no, no, no. And he just kind of <laughs> delicately puts it on top of everybody's hands. Oh, and he goes, no. okay. For the Raven Queen. Or for the Queen. Oh, no, God no. save the Queen. No, let's not do that one. Uh, ready? Uh, let's do... Uh, I can't think of one. Um, what about that voice in your head? Has he got a good one? Something to say here? Something quickly, snappy? Come on. Um, <clears throat> Kai. 
Kai uh, shrugs and hopes that Moldark has got his wit because Josh doesn't today. Hashtag praise Moldark. <laughs> <laughs> I, I speak these words, but there is utter confusion on my face. No, um... It's like primordial or something, but let's say it. Hashtag praise Moldark on three. Ready? One, two, three. Hashtag, Hashtag Brave Mulder. Yeah! Alright, let's walk up. <laughs> and then, uh, the poor fool's well, gone. Voice guy. <laughs> As he's, uh, and he's clearly ready. He's got a backpack on. He's got the chest fastened to sleeves. And he's like, I don't need this place. Let's go. Yeah. Cool. Um, Yanni, Yanni looks at Kai. I, I, I look think at, you're in um, charge. I look at the gnome and sort of say, uh, do you need this place anymore? I gesture to your heart. Me? Yes. You just say Yanni. Oh, okay. Uh, he goes, no, I don't need this. This is Mr. Henderson's place. He's just letting I, me use I it. I don't actually know anyone's names yet. I haven't bothered That's asking. That's true. We don't really know each other. I think we'd, probably, I think we'd exchange names in the time where we just feel like travel. Travel, yes. Um, cool. In which case... I'd just like to well blow it up with a firebolt. Cool. Moldark had some extra cool flares on the top to make it look extra awesome and dark and evil. Nice. Yeah. He's uh. <laughs> Moldark. Moldark is my Photoshop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he just edits everything. Is. <laughs> Let me just fly a filter. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Need to add the date Later. and tag all of my friends in this. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Filter, render, light, lighting effects. Yes, this is good. So, where do we go? Yeah, yeah we well, Kai, where do you start heading off? I head uh, west. Okay, roll me a survival check. We don't actually have to dice up at the moment, so you're going to have to... Uh... Just have to imagine them. Actually, I probably can put them up now. <laughs> narrate I'll, I'll narrate. I will take the job of narrating them. We'll lose things. There's no point wasting time. Yeah, okay, I can. Oh, uh, thank you, Solus. Um, Elvis promptly grabs the skin uh, patch off the ground and pins it back on his lapel. He almost forgot. Um, can you get, uh, what's, oh, you've already rolled it. 17. Yeah, we'll cool. take that. 17 is an auto success. It is. Uh, Mordok's favorite number. <laughs> Uh, so, yeah, you start working your way uh, through the the marshes. Uh, possibly, uh, I mean, you are a traveller. You've done a lot of travelling in your time. You, you know you know how to get your way around things, but you haven't been to the marshes before, and so it's a combination of your own abilities and a bit of Moldark's kind of help uh, Yanni, Yanni and ideas. Yanni pitch in because he's yeah. been through these ways before. Yeah. Exactly. I would I would make time. Oh, by the way, I am just gonna say I know Yanni and what's uh your name, Cord? Yes. Uh, Elvis. Elvis, that's it. How could how the hell could I forget that? Um. No. I know I know I know we're here for this for the queen, but hail to the king. Um, thank you. Thank you. And yes, we uh. Yeah, we we'd be heading off, but I would make time to sort. Of, I'd I'd spend quite a bit more more time. I I would be avoiding Kaylin and specifically spending more time with uh with Elvis and especially Yanni. Okay. Uh, do you guys have any meaningful conversations? Or any particular episodes or oh, anything you'd like to speak to them about? Essentially, whilst you're travelling. Like probably role play. Yeah. Yanni would Yanni would mostly just be kind of falling after Kai. He wouldn't. He probably wouldn't initiate any conversations. Um, well, it's just like, I'm, I'm, he'd, he like, said hey. he'd, he'd respond very interesting, very interesting. Yeah, I'd be like, hey, like, like, uh, <clears throat> I, I need sort of, do you, do you know your way around and, and whatever, and you give me some advice, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. you know, it works and it's all good, so. I imagine, I imagine I'd get you to the town of Blackford, I'd be able to show you your way back through the, uh, through the marshes. No, yeah. you fail. Yeah, <laughs> we just yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Occasionally, um, Yanni would Yanni would just pitch in and just like point you like round round a different way to the way you were going. And sound like it's, it's quicker if you go this way. And then he'd just scurry off in that direction and wait for you. I'd I'd Where smile. Where's he going? I I'd 
I said the uh, the town of Blackford. Oh. Beth, you're incredibly quiet. quiet. I, I'm quiet. Sorry, I just moved my mic. Oh. Mm. Why? I say you have an uh, an interest in the dead. Yeah. How would you like to travel to the land of the dead? Yeah, okay. All right, say no more. The Blackfoot. I, 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 if I could give Moldark a look, like, inwardly, I would be giving him a look as if, like, really? This is, this is the easiest thing in the world. (laughs) Yes, exactly. (laughs) I'm loving this. Okay, cool. Um, uh, so you travel, and uh, Super Wars King, we... That uh, Roland dickhead we traveled with. <laughs> God, that guy. For a second. He <laughs> sounds terrible! <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, um... He sounds rather handsome! <laughs> Super Wars King says, Are we aware that we're the most watched Dungeons & Dragons stream right now? right now? Awesome! If you're new here, please follow. Please follow, because we're going to get a 12-hour uh, charity stream when we hit 200, so we're nine away, so... Uh, Please do, please do follow. Every other, every other D and D stream is currently just Moldark's voice, just saying, "Go to encounter, go, <laughs> go and follow." So, uh, you guys, um... I could totally get my brother to hack that for us if we wanted to. I'm no, sure let's let's know. not talk about Switch. hacking <laughs> Twitch TV whilst we're streaming on. T- just ban us right let's now. just. What's gonna happen, Twitch? Right. Don't worry. I, I'm just gonna log. I apologize, log. and we have no affiliation with Beth's brother or hacking of any type. <laughs> oh dear. Right. Um. <laughs> no, no worries, Richard. That's cool, man. You can just, you can just lurk to your heart's content, my friend. Um. So you guys make Roll it to a small town. Uh, you see it on the horizon. It's uh, a marshy town. Uh, Yanni would tell you that this is Blackford. At least. It's what he thinks is Blackford. Um, um, yeah. Yanni would, so as, as, as he sees the town, he would stop and rummage around in his bag, and out would come a, what would immediately look, probably look like some sort of brush, but it's, uh, it's basically, it's like a wig and scalp kind of model. Um, and it's, it's got like, got like a small, small, like a fuzzy mohawk type thing, just brown hair. Um, if you were to inspect it very closely, it would be f- disturbingly convincing flesh. Uh, and he pops it on his head, and he uh, takes his like armored jacket off, and he's just wearing like very fine clothes underneath. Pops it in his bag, and then just carries on walking as if nothing has changed. I am investigating. You'd probably yeah, I'd imagine you had no plan what you were doing while I was doing it, so you could see it. This is quite some fine work. Ah, oh, thank you. He says entirely not in... Yeah, it's different voice. I know, no, he says it in that voice. Okay. Oh, what? Awesome. <laughs> Something happened to you. Kaylin's really confused. Is it, was your throat hurting from screaming earlier? Is that what, is that it? You wanted to speak in normal people talk? What you, what you mean earlier? You, you, your voice is... It's much different now than it was. I, I, I look at Elvis and sort of shake my head and put this, out a cautioning this is, hand. This has always been my my voice. What what are you what are you talking about, little man? Before you was like had this high pitched lady voice and now you have like a dude voice. That's that's not true at all. Mm. Elvis, maybe uh Am maybe I you could just help me. I just wanna uh just wanna get your opinion on something. And I, I pull Elvis to one side. Sure, what is it? Yanni wanders, well, Yanni wanders towards town. I say, uh, I think our friend is a little, um, <clears throat> complex, and maybe you shouldn't be pointing certain things out, like his complexity. Just a heads up. Why, well, what, 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 like, not as complex as having a voice in his head telling him what to do, or just... Just the fact that he has a voice that is a screeching whale, and then he has a voice that is a normal per- normal person talk. I smile like I smile as sincerely as I can, and I say, "A voice, 
Yeah, he has a voice uh, of a screeching whale, as you say, and an unhealthy appetite for human flesh. And he can pick you up and essentially fit you in his pocket. He's sick and, well, I think it would probably be best if we didn't antagonize him unnecessarily. If he wants to change voice, it's probably best to leave him to it. Yeah, and he's like oblivious to this, but he's like five feet away. He's just looking up at the tops of the trees. <laughs> oh, right. I've already convinced him that gnomes taste horrible, and humans are really the prize meat. And it's true, because you guys have much longer legs, and your uh, I'm, muscle I'm mass an elf, is much... by the way. Oh. I'm a half uh, elf, so... Yeah, I'm the only human uh, Yeah. Yes. Uh, elf, got it. Well, same thing, really. And then he walks away, that race was coming. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I Yanni Yanni walks towards Blackford quite confidently. Um Yeah. Okay. Kai Kai pulls in behind him. Elvis and Kaylin. Um, Elvis rides Kaylin next to uh next to So I was gonna say Kaylin goes up and stands with Yanni as far away from Elvis as possible. <laughs> Uh, Elvis but rides right next to Kaylin. Not gonna happen. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably staring at her feet. Okay, so as you guys uh, start to walk towards town, you start hearing bells tolling from town. Uh, any of you who would have spent uh, time in a civilization, in a town? Uh, well, that's I, not me. I, I've been through this town before, so. Well, I mean, you'd have to have lived in a... This, this, this would be information. If you'd lived in a town or a city, then you'd recognise that. This is like a... Clearly a warning bell. I mean, the others of you can probably put two and two together. But yeah. um, you would innately recognise this as being a... Uh, yeah. A I, uh, warning toll. Cool. Yanni, Yanni would recognise it and say... I, sorry, uh, Murray, I guess. Murray would uh, recognise this and say... something se Something seems to be amiss. <laughs> Come, let us investigate. And Yanni, uh, and Murray, Wait, what? Murray jogs forward. Can we see anyone else approaching? No, nope, no one appears to be approaching. Uh, you. You can all approaching the city from various directions. That it's just a, see. it's just a small town. Uh, but no, all you can't. Town, you uh, you can't really make out anything. It's uh, you, all you can see at this point is kind of marshy hovels, uh, groups together. You're a little way away, however. Murray okay. jogs. Kaylin turns to, or kind of jogs after whoever Yanni is at the moment, um, <laughs> and says, "Got a feeling they might be warning against us." What did you say that to Murray? Whoever Yanni's playing um, at the moment. He says, he says no, why, why would they be warning against against us? I'm a simple merchant. and why You're merely my escort. There's nothing out of the ordinary here. He nods to himself and carries on jogging forward. But nothing can you see anyone else approaching? Nope. Can I roll a perception to see if, anyth if I notice anything against. going on? Yeah, roll a perception as you get closer. What are Kai and Elvis doing whilst you do that? Um... I'm also looking out, but I'm studying uh, Yanni. Um, that is. How's a nat one for you? <laughs> you trip over. So um... <laughs> you walk, you walk into blinding light. Yeah, I, I <laughs> think I just think nothing's up. I guess. So, elf man, <clears throat> tell me, um, is this is the land of the dead? Black? I, uh, I, I don't realize that you're talking. Yeah, I you, don't realize you're me. talking and to I, me. I start pulling your shirt. I'm talking to you. <laughs> I suddenly realize that I'm being addressed, and then I'm like, you told me "Is this, this the land of the dead?" Yeah, yeah. I, what kind of town are we approaching? Small, uh, marshy, uh, hovel town. It looks like yeah, a, a lot of. Sadonine and Morrowind. Yeah, kind of. Yeah, Sadonine and Morrowind. Oh. It looks a bit like that. Um, for those of you who haven't played it, <laughs> like ho a collection of hovels all put together. Kind of stilted off the ground a little bit. Yeah. So Where's to rise above a, to rise above oh. the water. Sadonine sponsored by Mol by Mulder by uh, Morrowind. Um, 
I uh, I nod in in, at, in the general direction and and laugh and I say, "Look, I know it looks terrible, but it's not that bad. It's quite clearly a joke, just a terrible one." Oh, I made a profit in the dungeon. Fuck you all. That never happens. Possibly for the first time ever. For the first time in recorded <laughs> history. And now you will piss it all up the wall. <laughs> Inevitably. Um, yeah, so do, does Yanni, does, sorry, does Mari arrive in, um, in the, in the town? And do I see anything as I enter? Yeah, uh, are Elvis and Kai following is what I want to know. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So, uh, as you enter the town, we'll say, uh, Yanni reaches first. Um. Mari. Yep, Yanni reaches first with Caelan. <laughs> Uh, in his mind, he is, of course, someone else. Um, this is going to be really confusing for the podcast. <laughs> yes. So, to to clarify for those of you who are confused, uh, Yanni clearly has a split personality disorder where he believes he is, he is uh, both Yanni and Murray, depending on situation. His own whims, his own whims essentially, yes. Uh, so, Murray is Yanni, Yanni is Murray, but not in his head. Um, yes. So as you enter the town, there's you can hear a commotion. Um, you start to uh, hear the sound of swords on steel and screaming and people dying and screaming uh, children and uh, peasant folk uh, running into their hovels, you see. Um, and as you, you turn a corner, you see that there is in the centre of town a uh, beleaguered force of guardsmen uh, who are defending against uh, some very large bog-like creatures who look as if they have perhaps just risen out of a swamp and decided to to uh, to walk around and then perhaps eat some people. Uh, it looks as if that has happened. Um, cool. <laughs> very casual. Yeah, I mean, they just had to get up and, you know, it's a Sunday, why not? Head down to the town. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Um, Yanni, they're all Yanni, wearing slippers. Yeah. Yanni, um, uh, sorry, Murray immediately pulls out the two stakes that he's got at his side and says, Quick, we must defend the townsfolk! And, uh, and runs in. Cool. So we finish, Jim. Uh, I, um, yes. I, I gesture to Kaylin and sort of make a ladies first. I actually say, ladies first. And uh, Do we have, do we have icons, Will? Uh, yes, you can add them in. I don't have a battle map for we, this. We do, oh, in that, yeah, we can't see our icons if we add them because the black square is in the token layer. So. Oh, that's cool. Uh, don't worry about it. We'll just, uh... Oh, I think I can... Well, just just roll it and add your initiative. I just accidentally managed to bring Roland up. He's there. Um, yeah, so... <laughs> bring the old Roland up. <laughs> Did you get Roland up? Uh, I rolled Roland, but I rolled it wrong. Because, right, ignore that because I've got, yeah, Roland's character sheet, but Yanni's... I, right. Don't worry about just it. Let's roll d20 plus 3. Everyone roll your initiative aroonies. Just add your initiative bonus if you don't, yeah, you don't have icons. I'll have an 18. Cool. Um, how do we roll initiative if we don't have icons? Uh, look at your initiative really bonus in your character sheet and then roll a d20 and add your initiative bonus. Thank you. It's on the course. Yeah, I'll take a 21. Okay, uh, I'll, I'll accept that. I'll accept that. <laughs> yep. <laughs> ah, of course. Six. Well, on, the, on the six hype. Excellent. Um, so. I just and wait for an eternity for her to move. <laughs> yes. When GM rolls are probably happening. So, um, for for this thing, as we're not battle mapping, uh, just do some more abstract stuff. If you want to fight a guy. Uh, we'll do it as we used to back in the good old days when we played our Game of Thrones. Oh, I remember them. Um, so be descriptive, be uh, creative, and I'll say yes uh, most of the time, unless what it's was, ridiculous. What was that, Will? You uh, just said be descriptive. Oh, I, can, I, can I, I didn't say clarify. Uh, oh, thank you for oh, following, sir. I've just missed your name because of the dice box. Uh, Maverick Hunter Free, welcome to the stream, my friend. Maverick Thank Hunter, you, you are a gentleman. And a scholar. Yeah, Maverick. <laughs> and a scholar. Indeed. Um, yeah. So, that's one closer to our 200 goal. If you haven't followed, remember, just do it. Like Shia LaBeouf would want you to. 
yes. Uh, so, Kai, you enter the square, you see guards fighting off a lot of swamp creatures. Uh, you don't really know what on earth they are, but are they, they seem to are be... They bi are they bipedal? Uh, yes. Uh, let me yeah. describe this for you. Um, Thank you. Because I... in my head they look like muck from Pokemon, and it's disturbing me. It's just, okay. Heaven forbid you get disturbed in this session, Josh. Um, so... You, uh, yeah, you look at these creatures, there is, uh, swamp water dripping off them. They have two legs, they're vaguely humanoid-like. They have, um, uh, bizarre, um, creepy eye stalks coming off of, uh, where eyes should be. They're not sockets, they're not socketed, they are creeping off of their eyes. Uh, protruding. Yes, protruding. Uh, and in the center, uh, of their uh, belly, where there would be just a, a, a belly and a belly button. Um, Is there a television? <laughs> yes, yeah, they, they are telly gigantic televisions. <laughs> um, yeah, the uh, inside there, there is no uh, skin to hide the flesh, and all you see there is uh, organs and fluids dripping out. And it seems as though the fluid which they're uh, kind of uh, putting onto these guards as they attack them seems to be hurting them a lot. It seems like some kind of corrosive or uh, poisonous sort of uh, fluid which is coming off of them. Almost like stomach acid? Yeah. One could, but an extremely powerful uh, quick. Very potent. Potent one. Um, yeah. So that is what you see. Cool. Um, <clears throat> in which case... I am going to... Oh, God. I'm going to look at my stats. That's what I'm going to do, Will. Um, uh, I would like to... Um, oh, right. So, essentially, I would like to... Um, to present them with a... Uh, oh, let me just check my spills. My spills. If I can, I want to essentially summon a um, what looks like a, an easy prey, like a collapsed human, mm. um, in an alleyway, and I want to sort of lure them towards it. I want to basically nip down this alleyway, lure them towards it, and then as they, I will roll deception for this <laughs> to get them to come over towards it, okay. and then I will blast them in the face with. Um, I'm not going to use fire, I'm going to use lightning because I don't want the buildings to catch fire okay. just yet. Um, is, that, is that okay? Yeah, that's good to me. Cool. Uh, I rolled an 8. I'm imagining it doesn't go too well for me. It doesn't happen so much. Uh, no, it it doesn't really happen. Uh, you they try the uh, and fail, uh, which makes it... Murray's go. Murray's go. Uh, have these things acted yet in the turn sequence? Uh, no. Sweet! So, um, Murray, as he... Uh, so he sees one of the nearest, um, one of the nearest creatures... Uh, facing off with a facing off with a guard, and as he as he runs towards it, he um, reveals a uh, small crossbow that is pulled out of a pulled out of a belt patch, uh, and fires a bolt at it. First of all, at advantage because he's an assassin. Uh, so a twenty-two will that hit? Yes, a twenty-two hits. That's fifteen damage. Okay, cool. You take one of and these then, things down. And then he'll run up to another one next to it and use his bonus action to uh, shiv it. Nice. Will a 10 hit? A 10 will not hit. Cool. Uh, so, but yeah, that's uh, one dead thing, certainly. Okay, making it uh, Elvis's go. Uh, Elvis um, hops. Well, how far away are these things? Uh, Almost. you're probably about 20 meters away. You could run up. Oh, boy. Um, okay, I'm going to move forward. 60 feet, 65 feet for you, you filthy yank. Thank you. Um, I, will, yeah, I will run up a little bit, and then I will do Raven Feeblement. 
I'll Ooh. do one of the other ones, giving it uh, half damage if it's based off of strength attacks um, for the duration of my final turn. Uh, where's my other spell slot? Which one is three? Blue. Good. Well, oh, all right. that's that's not gonna happen. That. Yeah, uh, spectacular. Uh, take it to Kaylin's turn at last. Oh, I, actually, these guys are gonna go first. Sorry. Uh, let us. They don't fail. Yes. Are these? Well, are these uh, creatures taken from directly from the monster manual? No. Bye. Jesus, I thought I thought I knew what they were. Uh, stat-wise, they obviously are. I fluff things to my own liking. Are they slardy? By any chance? I. I won't tell you because then you're gonna look up the rules and be like, "Yeah, I'm a nerd." I think they are. I just That is a terrible roll. Uh, these are attacks against some guards, which uh, the group are making, uh, and they fail. Take it to Kaylin's turn. Um, Kaylin is going to run a bit, so she's within range and wants to cast. Which bolt at whichever one is closest? That's cool. But I'm guessing a five doesn't hit. A five doesn't hit, no. I'm taking That's it uh, to the, the end of the show, actually, because blimey, it's 12. Um, and we need to head off, seeing as. Uh, Seeing as it's it's getting pretty late uh, for us, but we will continue the the battle against these creatures uh, next Ooh. episode. Fear not, fear not. We'll leave you on a cliffhanger. Will they live? Will they die? Like I was, like I was hoping. Uh, they they spent too much time producing banter in the in the hovel for me to murder them Im immediately in this show. But fear not, everyone. We'll we'll get a TPK coming up soon. I hope you have enjoyed. <laughs> The show, uh, me, James, and Myth are going to be heading over to Myth Maddox's channel. We'll be hosting that uh, to do some character generation for Stars About Number. Uh, if you haven't followed, please do. Uh, lost a couple of followers. Doesn't matter. We'll get them back. Don't worry, chat. Don't you worry. And no, we wouldn't want to be nerd talking. That's the last thing we want because we, we all hate nerds, and we're definitely not nerds here. So yeah. uh, I mean, it's not a nerd. it's. Definitely, it's definitely all cool. Uh, yeah, thank you for following everyone. Thank you for watching and listening. We'll be back again on Thursday for yeah. the Isle of Anisterion campaign with myself, Josh, Beth, and James. But not Mathematic. He'll be on soon again, though. He'll be back on Monday. Don't worry. Keep your, keep your chin up, son. He'll be back on Monday. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, but other than that, uh, yes, you were promised TPKs. Apologies for the for the shorter session, of course. Yes, of course. Yes. Blame Will. Yes, blame blame Will. Chimpy exactly. Chimp Diddy Kong. Will, you're my favourite non-vegan DM. Diddy Kong. Thank you, my friend. That's uh, that's that's big props. That's a big shout out right there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No